Well, I gotta say, this place is really beautiful, and Teresa found this on a sign, and we ended up here. What do you guys think? Oh, lucky. We were Good lucky, find. lucky to find this, because the property is gorgeous. Yeah, we're on day four of our Southern Comfort uh, Tour, and you know, every day keeps getting better and better. <laughs> and we wanted to show you guys the Charahola Highway, but it was getting dusk, and we wanted to see the whole thing, so we decided to stay here last night to show you what it's like during the day. We're gonna do that. We're gonna head up uh, the Tail of the Dragon, and then we're gonna work our way up to Cave City. But what a great find. Come see Brian and his wife here. They've had this property for about a year, and we're gonna show you something really cool in a few minutes as well. It's really motorcycle friendly. Well, the lodge at Teleco, I mean. It's exquisite. It is a place to stay. If you're out here, you have to come stay here. Clean, yes. nice, beautiful, wonderful. Big rooms. Lots of uh, just beauty, just beauty. So, Galen, we're gonna show them. Let's something. go show them something cool. All right, let's do it. So, this morning I went to the front desk and I asked Brian, Hey, do you have any old towels to wipe down the bike with? And he said, Well, there's a set of old towels under your sink that says, If you're wiping down something, use these. But let me show you something really special. And I'm like, okay, and he comes down here, opens this garage door, what do we got? We have a 15 to 20 bike parking garage with full of graffiti because he encourages you to write where you're from, who you are on the wall. The guy loves motorcycles. I mean, he's, he owns a KTM 1290. Right. He loves ripping around here, he told me, in the fall and the winter because it's, it's a wide open. But he's got towels back here. He's got bike cleaner. He's got a wash bucket. He's got everything. This is a motorcycle-friendly, clean, awesome, great coffee spot to hang. So what did you do here this morning? Well, we tagged it. You know, we got the two-lane life. We put the date. The highwaymen have been here, and we love it. So if you come to the, the lodge at Teleco and you see this, take a picture. Send us that picture, and you'll get a gift coming your way. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell your friends to do the same thing because we have a lot of great things to share. In 2023, we're going to share more. Well, let's get on the road. Let's we got to get going. Wow, this is amazing in here, you guys. It's like dark and wonderful and the leaves are flying around. They just freshly mowed the lawn, so it's a little messy, but we're having fun. I'm following Galen here and I'm watching those leaves just shoot up behind his rear fender. It's just awesome. People have talked about leaves on the road and it's a little slippery. We haven't felt that just yet, but what a beautiful ride so far. We had a little road construction we had to get through but now the road is ours, there's no one on it. Looks like we're about to hit some sunshine. I had to open up my visor because uh, I was getting a little bit fogged up, but not exactly the highest speed road, but super beautiful, really fun. Great turns, great scenery. Well, it's 53 degrees out and we're 4,500 feet above sea level. This is the highest we've been to this point on this trip. Well, actually I disagree. We were at like 30,000 feet a couple of days ago. <laughs> Look, North Carolina State Line, we're in North Carolina. Wow. Never been here. That's fantastic. So we're going to head into Robbinsville, maybe top off with gas there, check uh, the nav, and then we'll hit the tail of the dragon. What will that be like? Surprises are all ahead of us. That's what I'm looking forward to, and we've had uh, quite a bit of people tell us to go hit that up, so that should be even more beautiful. We had a great night last night, great dinner, uh, great place to stay. We're way up in this countryside. It's, I'm loving it, man. You guys, this is some great times where we're capturing and sharing with the world. I guess I could stay on the right side of the road, but I'm looking around at everything, and it's a little bit reminds me of home when the colors are changing. You know, you got these greens, you got the oranges, the red, yellow, and just beautiful 
Look at this shot over the top here. Simply amazing. And then the sun comes peeking out once in a while and gets a little warmth on you, but it's it's a great time. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, let's uh, let's make our way to the Dragon and uh, enjoy the ride. Robin Phil coming up down the road. Oh. Yo. I'm gonna give the people what they want, have a little fun on this stock street glide, and uh, do a little ripping. It's getting chilly, we're climbing up in altitude. Great road, seeing tons of bikes out, but uh, I guess not when I'm filming. Looks like I lost connection with the boys, but loving it. These roads are amazing. And something might have gone down. Looks like these boys are good. Great run on the Cherahala Highway. That was so cool. That was definitely uh, enjoyed awesome. that. Uh, I'd looked at staying where we're at today, which is the Tapico Lodge here. We're sitting at the tavern eating some great food. This lodge was built around 1930 by the Alcoa Company, which is the American Aluminum Company. They closed it early 1990. And then a family from Robbinsville actually reopened in 1995 and. What an amazing place. We've got a river running by us. We've got the changing of colors, great food. We were talking about it earlier. You love this, right? It's beautiful. I mean, when you're sitting next to a river, the sun shining, white puffy clouds, uh, the colors in the mountains. I mean, the girls are enjoying this. Uh, this is a fantastic place to come and ride. And, and what's kind of cool, even where we stayed this uh, last night and then pulling into here, it's all about motorcycles. Our oh. waitress is a sport bike rider. She just showed us she's done over 17,000 miles on the Dragon, which is only 11 miles long. So but, that but you means did 1,500 trips. Yeah, you did some math on that. Um, but, you know, it's conducive to motorcycles. You pull in here, there's parking. Last night there was a garage we could pull into. I mean, just it's all about the bike here, which is really cool. I mean, the motorcycle rider is totally welcome. In this and everywhere we've been around here. Well, and guess what? It brought us here. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh got a margarita pizza. It smells phenomenal. Lance, what'd you get over there? I got a burger, some green beans, uh, spinach, some fiery jalapenos. So, you know. Teresa and I got the, the hippie bowls with hummus and hummus and a avocado. little side of yeah, oh. pickled onions, cranberries. Um, yes, and chicken and some amazing. Um, sweet potato fries with cinnamon sprinkled on. Cinnamon. And we're hoping that Josh doesn't finish his pizza right. because we want a piece. And I got the uh, pulled pork tacos with some like, some crema on it, some great chips and salsa, and a wonderful beer. So with that, Josh, you need to come eat. Let's get down that so road. So basically, Tale of the Dragon is next. For sure. Welcome to the Southern Comfort Tour. This series is brought to you by Legend Suspension. Hey, you know what? We test them, we trust them. They're made in America. We have collectively hundreds of thousands of miles. Wind, snow, rain, mud, dirt, we love them. Hey, back to the video. Hey, and crossing into the Tennessee border. I'm telling you, this stop street glide is great. I'm loving it. 
Well, I'm getting a little uh, leg squeeze on the backside here. Oh yeah, you rocking your helmet cam? Yeah. Well, Teresa did tell me to slow down, but one in Rome. I know, I'm going the ridiculous speed. I'm having a little fun. Oh, sport bike. Let's have some fun. Up in front? Yeah, right in front of me. Get him. Well, I mean, we've been uh, on the Cherola Highway. Now we are definitely on the 129, just across the Tennessee border from Carolina. Yes, sir. Great lunch at Topico. That was insane. That might have been the best pizza I've ever had, including <laughs> New York pizza at Ramos, uh, where my dad is from. So I'll give it to them. They did something right. We're far enough from the West Coast for the dough to be done right. For sure. All right, well, we're one mile past the Tennessee border, so we probably have 10 more miles to go, I think. This is an 11 mile stretch with like 300 and I think 18 turns or something like that. Oh, incredible. All right, well, the dude's got passengers and uh, I'm a little bit lighter. I'm gonna enjoy this and show you guys some fun on the tail of the dragon. Scrape. Got some Iron Maiden bumping. Woo. Got Grandpa Jenkins in front of me, just enjoying the cruise, no problem with it. I'll do the same. Thank you, sir. I can see why they call the tail a dragon. This is just incredible. Great turns, nothing too hairpinny and too sharp, but lots of curves, lots of banks, tons of bikes and cars out. We're kind of just cruising right now or behind a truck, but just loving it. This is really fantastic in here. I gotta tell you, boy, I'm having a good time. The scenery's great, and you know what? It does live up to what they say. It's really an awesome road. 100%. Well, I know we're gonna get to the 11 mile mark and be like, damn, I wish there were more because it's it's a lot of fun. Not a lot of bikes, there's, there's quite a few, but not a ton. So I think we hit it right, you know, when we're doing this on a Tuesday afternoon. And look at all the photo companies out here. Yeah, sounds like the weekends are pretty crazy. Our waitress at lunch, uh, she said she put 17,000 miles on her bike just on the Dragon alone and she was showing us a video and she was just ripping through here. You know, when you're a local and you know the road like the back of your hand, you can maybe get away with a few more things and have a little more fun. But man, I would love to rip this wide open. I was having a little fun earlier like you guys saw and great times. Well, I can't imagine this road with tons and tons of bikes on it. Right? It would be pretty, uh, congested and crazy and a lot of guys doing some crazy <laughs> stuff as well yeah there was a supermoto guy that ripped by me earlier yeah <laughs> well you know we don't have a lot of moisture on the ground we've hit this at kind of the perfect time other than the cars in front of us uh we were able to do a little bit of a rip through there but i gotta tell you southern california We've got some of this same stuff out there that we love. Oh yeah. Sure do. Nice to find it across the country, you know? Man, I can tell this WRX in front of me wants to rip. <laughs> yeah. He can't, because he painted his tires white. Well, the dentist in the convertible rental BMW might want to as well <laughs> to kind of show up. And this guy's making the right move. He's going to give us a break and get a gap. Enjoy him. Oh, I just scraped like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> We'll enjoy some miles and see him at the end of the dragon. You got it. Well, I also like Teresa saying uh, she wasn't scared at all. She loves it. Oh, really? Yep. I like that. It was nice to hear. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get to the end of the tail here and uh, we'll go from there. Yes. I'm chasing the dentist. Down the road. <laughs> Down the road. Down the road. Damn, 
What a great run that was. I mean, all I can say is, wow. Look, I mean, people have said, you need to go do this, and we were out here, so we decided, let's go take a day and do it, and I'm so glad we did. So we're fans of the Tale of the Dragon, and, and it really didn't disappoint. It was beautiful. The scenery is great. I mean, this is all great. We're having a great time, and, and we're going to see more and more great stuff. Well, and probably for us, the road was clean. Yeah. There, there weren't leaves. It wasn't wet. We hit it the right time. It's a great road when there's nothing on it. Well, there was a lot of little right-hand turns, even though the road was great, where you had the little yeah, dip where sure. the crevice went down. And <laughs> But I, I got to tell you, if you're around this area, you've got to come out and do this stuff. It's great. Even today, the Charahala Highway. Oh. I mean, my goodness. We've had a great day of, of riding. I think we're on the 129. Uh, 11 miles, 318 turns we just did. And then I think we're going to be another 50 or 60 miles on the 129 or this kind of area, and then we got to get into Cave City. We we may not get in until 8 o'clock. Well, Laura and Teresa are having a time of their lives. They're enjoying the scenery. They're having a good time. I look back, and Laura was filming. Yeah, so Teresa she's, loved it. She's, she's catching like, some wow. iPhone stuff. We're in front of the tail of the dragon Harley Davidson, and where are the girls? They are in the store because they, whenever there's a store and shopping, they're in it. And we don't have a lot of room left. But no. <laughs> look, what a great rip. Uh, you're also going to see, or you just saw, I should say, Josh decided to do a little bit of a uh, show me the dragon. I, that's what I'll call it. Uh, he ripped off in front of us, and it was it was great to watch. And was he was fun. great because he was talking in his helmet, just laughing, having a great time. I mean, you, Josh dug it. Well, I'll tell you one thing we need to do. What's we need that? to get the young guns out here and do a rip. But I, I heard you say, it. though, it could be trouble and dangerous because, you know, well, when I mean, we're all together. We've got to do it on a day where it's just clear road because, yeah. it's, I mean, it's insane, and you can get down in this thing. <laughs> well, hey. With that, we'll see you the next stop. I don't know where that's going to be, and eventually it's going to be in Cave City. We'll see Letitia Klein. Cave City. Woo! Tennessee today it's and yesterday as well just crazy Cherahala Highway excellent we did the tail of the dragon which was great Ooh. all of these roads have been really fun my guys even after we got off the dragon I figured we'd just be on more kind of open straight country roads and it like it almost got better I mean we're on these open golden plains we haven't done a ton of filming in the past hour just kind of enjoying the ride but we've been on roads like this for like a hundred miles it's amazing you know and I'm, I'm tripping out on these old old structures that are just kind of rotting and decomposing right back into earth yeah they've probably been here a hundred years you know or more pretty wild by the time we're done today we'll have done over 300 miles but it's all been back road so we've been on the road for almost seven eight hours right now it'll be 10 hours by the time we get in 11 hours so every single mile i mean today was a full-on two-lane day it's been great it's a little bit of a change of pace compared to what we're used to kind of maybe you know crushing miles on some of the more straight narrow two lanes but it's been you know even 10 minutes ago when we were stuck behind a truck for what felt like an hour it's like we don't have anywhere to be we're gonna pull into our destination no matter what and uh just, I mean, how can you not enjoy this? This is great, just free in the mind. Well, I'm really excited to pull into the wigwam and see what that's like. <laughs> I think it's one of the oldest yeah. wigwams that, it, that are the first built. Yeah, I think there's only two, uh, two of them left in the country, so pretty cool stuff. We saw a Harley Davidson dealership with uh, a restaurant in it, only one of two. We're gonna see wigwam teepees with one of two. Look at that, I mean, this is what we've been seeing. It's You just can't beat it. Yeah, the other wigwam is in San Bernardino, California, on Route 66. And if you go look at our Route 66 trip we did back in October of 2020, you'll see that we stopped there. Yes, yes. 
So, you know, it's, it's interesting too, we're in these cold pockets of shaded areas. You come out in the sun and you get that warmth, just feels good, but you know, now we're a uh, thousand feet above sea level and the temperature is 63 degrees, so feels good. Damn right. Well, let's work our way into Cave City. We've got uh, about 60 miles to go. Uh, we're gonna go maybe stop at the dive bar and see if Leticia's there. If not, we do have a full day with her tomorrow and and also uh, on Thursday and possibly Friday. Yes, sir. It's been a great day, but we're gonna show you guys the wigwams and we'll close it out there. But uh, right now, good times are still happening. Oh, they're happening. So we'll see you guys in cave. Down that road, boys. Down the road. We finally made it to Cave City. We're, we are here in Kentucky, Leticia. We're happy that you uh, came by as well. She recommended the El Mazatlan. Uh, we're having some good Mexican food here. What a great day. Awesome riding, but one thing I don't like is at the end of the day, I hate riding when it's dark out. And that happened, and we were riding in the dark, and I slowed down. Can't see as good, but hey, it's all cool now. We're all here. Well, we waited for you, so how about that? You did. So, hey, let's get to eating. We'll go over to the wigwam and close this thing out. What a great day we had today. We just had a great dinner. We met Leticia. We got our wigwams. The girls are settled. What's up? So, think about this for a minute. What a great ride. Great day. Spectacular. But you have to think about March of 2020. We dropped our first vlog the first week of March. In October of 2020, we did all of Route 66, right? Amazing. And we were in San Bernardino showing the wigwams. Right. And I think there's a, a Josh followed you in, and it's like we showed the room, we showed the bathroom. We're like, we got to stay here one day. <laughs> right. And here we Roll are. Roll the tape forward. We're sitting here in now October of 2022, two years later. Who would have thought we're staying at the wigwams in Kentucky, Cave City? That's pretty bizarre, but hey, fate happens and we're here and, and we're loving it. We got a bunch of great adventures the rest of this week. Can't wait to share them with you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you won't miss them. You won't miss what? The adventures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go on one. You